Let's take a look at the variety of ways you can move content from Adobe Illustrator to Adobe Muse. Now, if you think about file formats in the world of print, there tends to be two categories. Photographs, which are usually resolution dependent, and vector content, which is usually resolution independent. File formats in the world of the web are pretty similar to print. When you save out images, there are a number of file formats you can use. And when it comes to vector content, there's something known as SVG, or Scalable Vector Graphic Format, that will save your content in a resolution independent way. I'm going to begin in the Adobe Illustrator application, where I've been working on all of my design elements. It's nice when you're working with line art to make sure that all the line weights are the same and the visual look of each of the icons is pretty consistent. So now that I have them all settled, I'm ready to move them over into Muse. And I have a number of options around how I can do that. The first would be to select each item and just save it out separately as a native .ai or native Illustrator file format. I can also double click on the item to isolate it and then right click to select export. And in the export window, I can select under Format SVG. From there, I click Export Selection. And there's some SVG settings I want to make sure I choose here. Under Styling, I want to select Presentation Attributes. Under Font, I can convert to Outline. This will take any typefaces, any type setting that I did in Illustrator, and create outlines from that text. I want to preserve my images. And I'll go with a decimal point of 3. I'll then just click OK. So I've exported just that one file. I can continue to do that with each of the items. Another way I can work that's a new feature in the Creative Cloud is with the Creative Cloud libraries. If I open up my library panel, I have a folder here called Pigeon New, a new Creative Cloud library. And what I can do is select each of my items. And in the lower left hand corner here, just click to add graphic. I can come in and assign a name. So I've got Icon Award here. And I can do this again with each of my elements until they're in my library. The last, probably simplest way I could do it would be to just copy and paste it between applications. So if I select the Pigeon logo here and go to Edit Copy, I can switch over to Muse and then just select Edit Paste and paste the logo in that way. Now that I have all of my Illustrator content prepared, let's take a look at how we can work with it within Adobe Muse. The first thing I can do is pull down on File to Place, and I can browse to that directory where I have Illustrator content, the .ai files. I can shift select them here and click on Open. And I then have a place gun. I can click and release to place it actual size, or press and drag. Notice as I drag here, the object starts to look a little jaggedy, but when I release, Muse is going to render that SVG at a resolution independent level, so it comes in very clear even though I made it larger. I can click and release to place this other object here. Now as I'm working, if I would like to, I can crop SVG files. So I can come to the Crop tool and just drag an edge here, and it's going to crop that item. Alternatively, I can select it, so I could copy here, and perhaps paste it into a container. So if I drew a container here towards the bottom, and I set that to be stretched to browser width, so rather large, I then click on the container. I could paste that as a background image. And once it's pasted, in the Fill dropdown, I can control things like how it's placed in the container. Does it scale to fill? Um, is it in its original size? Uh, again, lots of fill options as I work in that area. Another thing that's nice, let me go ahead and do this real quickly. I can go to the widget library and select a slideshow widget. I'll go with basic here and drag that onto the canvas. And I've got some default images that are here. I'll go ahead and switch this to thumbnails so you can see a little bit more what I'm doing. And I'll turn off everything but the thumbnails in the main image. Now I can come in and select those SVG items. So we'll come in and grab those three Illustrator files. I'll click on Open, and this time I'm just going to click and release to place them in my slideshow. Very quickly, I've got a gallery of all my SVG items. Again, scalable content, always at the highest resolution. Now, if I don't want to place the files, I can always go to my Creative Cloud library, where I have the SVG files available here to drag and drop onto the canvas. 
So in this video tutorial, we've lightly touched on the variety of ways you can integrate SVG files from Illustrator in your Muse workflow. I encourage you to give it a try.